Hi, this is Paul again. I've got another video to show you, and I'm calling this the essential platonic geometry for 3D sine waves. Now in front, I'm showing you a size 6 cube. It's a 600 by 600 by 600. Now I'm also showing what I call a Yucatan plane. And you can see that they line up with the vertices of the cube and the sloping edges of the dodeca. Now you can see I'm using six 100 size pink cubes that make up the diagonal. But it only uses two cubes between the two Yucatans. But we can fit another two above and two below. I think you'll find later on that this is a very important feature. Okay, now I'm going to rotate the assembly to show you the Yucatan planes better. Now you can see there are six vertices on the Yucatan. Now if we rotate a copy of that red cube at 75.4, which is golden ratio, we can now give it a yellow cube, and that takes up the other vertices. Okay, now I think I'll take you into the top view. Now look when I rotate the diagonal blocks around on the red cube at 120 degrees. And I'll give each position 147. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the yellow cube. We'll rotate the pink cubes 75.4. So now they form a long diagonal of the yellow cube. And we'll give this position, position number two. So we'll rotate this 120 degrees and we come to position five. So when we give it another 120 degrees, we get to position eight. So when we give it the third 120 degrees, we're back to the two again. Now I'd like to focus on the measurements of the Yucatan. Now the longer lengths are the length of the edge of a cube and the shorter lengths at exactly golden ratio to the edge of a cube. So you can see that phi is very important in platonic geometry. Okay, we'll go back to the front view again and show the six cubes that make up the diagonal. Now notice there are three cubes either side of the center point. Okay, but what happens if we want to go to a size seven arrangement? Now we're using an odd number. So we have to put a cube in the center and three either side. Now this is where cubic wonder comes in. We can put a bucky cube in the center, which is basically a vector equilibrium. We'll give it the other two also. But notice the vertical string does not fit in between the Yucatan. Okay, let's go back to size six again. Now this string of six can be replaced by Plato cubes and the vertical pair fits perfectly between the Yucatans. Okay, let's go back to size 7 again. Now we'll bring in the Plato cubes from size 6. Now we'll add the two vertical ones. So you can see that Cubic Wonder handles even numbers and odd numbers in perfect order to infinity. But there's something else. I think the vertical diagonals and the long diagonals should stay within the Yucatan. Because notice the long diagonal and the vertical diagonal divides by three. Now also note that six is an even number and it works out using size one Plato cubes. Now the next assembly to divide by three will be size nine. And nine being an odd number, we'll use Bucky cubes. So 3 goes into 9 3 times. So the next one's going to be 4. And 3 4s are 12. And that's an even number. So that'll be a Plato cube. Okay, we'll start with 12 as a long diagonal. And now we'll add 4 from the vertical diagonal. So I guess the mathematicians could make a little formula for this. And I guess it'll keep going to infinity. Okay, now let's go back to the size 6 arrangement again. Now I only need the dodeca for this. Now I'm going to show you a rectangle between two opposite edges. Now the cube edge size is 600. Now the dodeca edge A is the cube edge times phi. Now the long edge of the rectangle, which I call B, 
is the dodeca edge A times 2.168, which is 5. Okay, now I'm going to bring in the golden ratio rectangle for the icosa. Now the longer length of this purple rectangle, which I call C, is exactly double the edge of the dodeca. Now if you multiply the longer edge of the icosa by phi, it will give you the distance of the shorter length. Okay, now we can turn this rectangle into a size 6 icosa. Now I've got something else important to show you about these two dodeca and icosa. So I'm going to show you this pair as solids. Now you can see that the vertices of the icosa stick out a little bit from the faces of the dodeca. Now I call this a slimbo gap or a slimbo nipple, but I guess nobody mentions it because it's not in the book. Okay, we'll hide the dodeca and go back to the Yucatan assembly and just show the size 6 icosa. Now look what happens when I scale down the size 6 by 0 0.5. It turns perfectly into a size 3 and fits between the Yucatans. Okay, I'll hide everything and just keep the dodeca size 6 and the icosa size 3. And in the next step, I'm going to show you the outline of the size 3 and I'm going to put a colored icosita in the center, a size 1 icosa. Okay, I'm going to show you that three of these size 1 icosas will go face to face to fit into the size 3. And what's amazing, they will fit vertex to vertex as well into the size 3. I'm going to add the size 6 icosa also. So what we're showing here are the essential 3D geometry that will give us the rungs for A, B and Z type DNA. I've shown this over the last 10 years, but it seems the scholars focus on two dimension and the fourth dimension, but get paid in three dimension. But let's get back to this third dimension. Now I'm showing a size 6 icosa and a size 3 icosa. Now I show a purple and an orange vector going to the vertices of the size 6. There's a green vector also coming towards us. I'll give it a spin around and you can see it better. Now I'm only interested in these three vectors. So maybe we can hide the size 6 icosa. And now I'm showing a fairly basic unit that could be very useful in making 3D sine waves. Okay, now I'm going to put a string about six of these units together and show the sine waves. Now these three phase sine waves look pretty good to me. I think I've showed pretty clear how I got them. Now let's go to the next size up and these are going to be three bucky cubes. Now you could look at this as going from size 2 to size 3, but if you put the cubes in between it would be size 3 to size 5. Now I'm going to take you to the next size up, which is 4 Plato cubes, but this could be 7 cubes. Now we're looking at a lot of uncharted territory, but with all this chaos theory I might be talking to a wall. Okay, I've got something else to show you. I've put all these different sizes in a string and made it look like a Christmas tree. Now it's plain to see that all this three phase is coming from cubic wonder and icosas. Now there must be a couple of scholars out there that will look at this more seriously because working in two dimension doesn't give the answer in a three dimensional world. Anyways, I think it's time that these two dimensional theorists Stop looking down the nose at three-dimensional work. So I think I've showed enough for today. So this is Paul saying thank you very much for looking at my video.